So what's this canvas thing all about? So as most of you have already heard, Maricopa voted to have a new learning management system and they chose Canvas. There was a committee that was put together to make this decision. So that means that Blackboard will be going away and Canvas will be taking its place. So I've been using Canvas this semester. I'm teaching two classes out of it, so I wanted to give you a quick rundown of what it's all about. One thing that's kind of cool is it integrates all of your courses all the course information into one area. When you first arrive at Canvas, you end up on this recent activities page and it shows you activity within all of the courses that you're teaching. So I have two, so as I scroll down, I will see things from uh, the English 102 class and then from the ENG um, 102 CRE 101 learning community class. They just all show up in the stream. What I really like is there's a to-do to list that's made for you based on the activity in the class. So here you can see that I had some papers that need grading and uh, it tells you how many they need to be graded, what it is, and so forth, and uh, how many underneath. And then you can uh, keep track of what, what you need to do, sort of like your to-do list. And then down below it shows you sort of an upcoming what's going to be due in the next couple of days. So on Sunday these two assignments are due uh, in two different classes. So this is just the regular 102 and this is the learning community. So once I do decide to go into a course, I just click, click on these down menu and I will see the two courses that I'm teaching and then I can click on it, click on the one that I want to go to and go to that course. Now one of the things I really like is that it has this module set up where you can um, put in the week days. So I, I created this module and within the module there are three weeks and then within each week you can assign assignments. So when a student first clicks in and looks at the module overview, it's kind of neat because they can then look at all of the things that they're going to be doing in that module and then they can just click the next button to go to the week one folder. So this is the next thing that they have to do. So when they go to the week one folder, and when they scroll through and they look at all the things they have to do, they can again go to the next thing, which would be a discussion. So on this folder, it tells them that they will be doing a week one discussion. And as they finish reading about everything that needs to be done for that week, they just go ahead and click in and then go to that discussion. And at any point, they sort of lose the focus of what they're supposed to be doing. And they're not sure if they've missed anything. Scroll down here quickly. You can always see the full course sequence by clicking here. Now when you add assignments to the week folders, this is what I really like. So I've added these assignments here and then when I click on syllabus, what happens is the syllabus at the bottom is automatically populated for you. So it tells you the date, uh, what the assignment is, when it's due, so that uh, you can get a big picture of all of the things that you're working on. Okay, you can weight your assignments in your gradebook here, and you can also look at a calendar. If you go to the very top, there's a calendar. I like the calendar feature as well. I can decide to show both the uh, courses that I'm teaching on the calendar. It gives it a different color, kind of like a Google. I can have items just for myself. And then the best part is that you can take the feed and plug it into say your Google Calendar or your Outlook Calendar and everything that shows up here will then show up on that calendar. So I really like that. And if you click on anything that's due, it'll take you to that particular assignment so that you can look at it. And then if you want the full details, click on full details and it'll take you to the assignment. So as ter in terms of um, submitting assignments, I'm in Teacher View so when I'm in here looking at this assignment that students are working on, as a teacher, I can see that I have 15 submissions that I can grade. And if I click on Speed Grader, it'll bring up all of my students uh, in this drop-down menu. And then I can go through the student's paper and um, add a grade. Now I can also download the paper and grade it in Microsoft Word or I could just use a rubric. So if I'm using a rubric, oops, how do I move this over? 
Oops. Oh, I'm in Firefox. If I'm in a different browser, I can move this over. Okay, but anyway, so in this case, I can just say, hey, full marks, full marks, no marks, etc., and go ahead and do the rubric. Now, this rubric is a rubric that is created without giving me the ability to add comments, but I can create a rubric that allows for me to give points and to type in comments too about the paper. So it's kind of cool. Okay, so uh, the grades, I, I don't want to go in there because you, I don't want to show all my students' grades. Um, oh, people, I can look at the students, put them in groups. I can have chat if I want to. And <laughs> this is actually kind of new, the chat, but it loads up a open source chat program. And I can uh, create sort of a, um, a broadcast so that if students were to show up they can listen and talk so it's not just verbal or not verbal it's not just text it could be video or audio uh, in the chat area so you can schedule meetings in here with your students and so forth and the good thing is you can use this tiny app on your phone iPhone or iPad if you have it okay conferences very similar to the chat but it it's um focuses on on sharing a desktop or or documents and my favorite has been the collaboration so what I've been able to do is create these documents that are basically just Google documents that my students can then uh, go in and type in and share information with each other so I created each uh, a document for each group and then basically it just opens up in Google Docs so if a student chooses to use this all of the students in that group have access to it and then they can type and share the the document just like it was intended to so that's kinda cool I like that alright so going back to the home page I already talked about how the syllabus populates your assignments when you add them it's really easy to add an assignment so if this is the module 2 that I'm in right now in this class if I wanted to add something to that module I just click add and if I have not created the content yet, I can click New Assignment. Uh, if I wanted to add a, a quiz, I could click New Quiz and so forth. Um, and just quickly add it to this page. And once you add it to the page, it automatically gets added to the calendar and to the syllabus. And then you can pretty much um, edit these pages just like you would in Blackboard. If I just click down here, Edit This Page, and then I can highlight change the font size, change the color of the text, and decorate it. I guess you can call it decorate it in any way that I like. But the best part is, let's say that I wanted to um, upload a handout. And if I go in here and go to my files, what's really neat is I can then quickly upload a file or I can just choose one from here. So if I'm here and I want for this file to be over there, I just click on it and then boom it shows up I love that so all you have to do is just upload all of your documents and they will show up in the course files and then you can just click and add them but it also goes with anything I can click and add an assignment so if I wanted to add an assignment to this area so I'm talking about um, uh, week seven assignments and I go down here and I say oh, I'm gonna add assignment number six I just cl click it and then assignment number six is added now of course you have to make these pages first before you can add them but um, if you don't have the page made already you can just add a blank page okay so assignments you can add pages you can add quizzes announcements discussions or even modules or you can just look at the complete course navigation and add that as well it's really neat how it's easy to organize the content. Uh, discussions are pretty cool because you can uh, add voice or audio in the discussion forum. So when, when students want to um, participate, I've added a video here, and then they can come in and participate by leaving um, a text comment, an audio comment, or a video comment. So most students aren't really into that yet, but it's fun that we have that opportunity. Okay, and then the last thing, announcements. Uh, let's go into this course here. So with announcements, 
I like to do a weekly podcast and normally I have to you know get out the software get out my headset and start recording but in the new announcements all I have to do to create an announcement that's a podcast is go ahead and click on the new announcement button and then click the record upload media button and say allow and once I click allow I can um, use video or audio oops my allow button's not working here we go let's do this is audio there we go and then all I have to do is click anywhere to start recording and it will start recording my voice you can see that it's picking up loud and clear and then once I'm finished recording I hit stop and it saves it for me automatically or it plays it back and then it's saved and I can type in anything I want in there to finish creating the announcement so it's made my podcasting very quick and I can do audio or video I like to sit in the dark there okay so it's really cool alright um, I think that's it that I want to show you right now so the only thing I haven't really showed you shown you is the grades uh, oh the inbox you get email messages from your students and it sort of creates this running dialogue of all of your students it doesn't separate them into classes but you can label them um, in any way you want by color coding them and so forth but if I want to send an email to a student I can send it to a whole class and if I just type in the, the, the class it'll type it it'll send a message to all 15 or I could type in a student's name and that student will pop up and I can just send a message to her and again I can record a message or I can attach a file um, I can pretty much do anything that I want to do um, with sending messages and it keeps a stream so if a student has sent you more than one message you can follow the conversation because all the messages are there together so I can see what he said I can then reply back to him and I can see what he says back to me etc Okay.